Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't seen you guys in so long. I've been so busy catching up with life. You know, I just got married and renovating our new home. So as you can see, the background is totally different from my previous videos that was filmed in my other home. That was my parents' house. So this is now me and my husband's home. So thank you guys for being so patient with me, but I have a huge haul. I've been collecting items before my wedding and now, and I just, been um, also my camera got fixed so I couldn't film for like the longest but thank you guys for being so patient and if you guys want to see what I got then please keep on watching I have a lot of drugstore items a lot of TJ Maxx skin products that I got cute shoes from boutiques and just a whole bunch of goodies went to Moxie boutique which is located at the Ward Center village where there's like little sheep Mongolian Hot Pot, Ryan's Grill, they have Genki Sushi there. And these were so adorable. I needed black boots and I love how the clear back heel was just so like, I don't know, I just like it. I'm like obsessed with clear acrylic. So when I saw that the heel was acrylic, I was like, yes, I need to have them. I just wish that this was like an open toe, but I love them and these were really, really cute. So Moxie Boutique at the Ward Village. I got it for a really good price. And then I got these cute heels at Jeans Warehouse. I was like, these are so cute. Like I love wearing my high heels, but just to wear with like skinny jeans or leggings, this is a cute, I mean this, I got this for I think like $7 and I was like, yeah, this is a steal. I went to Kiehl's and a lot of the products there are so expensive but desi or crispy one of them on youtube were talking about this cactus flower and thai then ginseng hydrating mist so this is good to travel when your skin is really dry especially if you are going on a trip and you're doing like a six hour drive in the desert or it's really hot it's nice to carry something to hydrate the skin if you don't want to put too much moisturizers so i highly recommend this and i try these in the store and it, i love the finish and i love how it makes my skin feel it's so hydrating and i can't wait to use this of course to give you samples at the at the shop as well i got an ultra facial moisturizer she gave me three so i'm probably going to carry this in the car as well sephora i have a whole bunch of goodies from sephora so here i have the sephora beauty amplifier i guess this is their settings and refresh spray so i'm obsessed with like any type of setting sprays like i love to try different ones drugstore you know online ones or like high-end so when i saw that sephora had a line i was like yeah my clinique take the day off cleansing milk i like the cleansing balm but i figured to try something that I can leave this in the shower this is more milkier which i think would be perfect i know that they have another one where it's more oily based which kind of reminds me of the sephora brand one but i'm like mm, i don't know if i try i kind of want to do something where it's more milky so it moisturizes my skin and it feels softer but i'm really loving my skin right now i only have like one pimple but been loving this stuff clinique acne solutions the acne and line correcting serum i was really intrigued by this i was like what does this thing do but i think you just put this on when you have an acne so i thought this was perfect and this was like the 100 points at sephora kat von d's bow and arrow this is my like third backup i really like this this is a little bit lighter than lolita Too faced melted matte cool girl i do have the purple one i'm not too sure what that one is called but this is such a nice nude. Let me just show you guys. Oh yeah, that is gorgeous. Cool girl, so pretty, love it. I've been trying to find this and finally all in one I had it. Bare Minerals also has a matte liquid lip color and I got it in the color XYZ. And it's just, of course this nice nude color. And I like their packaging, it's really matte, tiny. You see, and it fades to matte. I think that's so cool. Nobody else has something like that. And again, it looks kind of like Cool Girl, but it's more a warmer tone. That is so pretty. Oh my god, like I'm obsessed. And then I got another one from the Bare Minerals Matte Lip Color. This one is in the color Icon. And let's see how that looks. Oh. I don't know what it is. I'm like obsessed. That one is more like a 
mauve -y. so I'm so excited. Lip mask is the Shea Lip Mask. I really want to try these out because my my lips get really, really dry because I use a lot of liquid lipsticks every day. So I wanted to try these ones out. I have tried the face mask from this line and the under eye area. So I really wanted to try the lips. And last but not least, I got the Sephora Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation. I've heard a lot of people on YouTube talk so highly of this and I wanted to give this a try since it's more on my price, like I can afford it. So I really want to try this out and I got in the color Honey. Okay, on to TJ Maxx, I got some skin products. So I got this Giovanni Detox Purifying Exfoliant Body Scrub. This is in the volcan Volcanic Ash and activated with charcoal and antioxidants, acai and goji berry. I smelled this. And this smells so good, like, I don't know, but I'm like, I've never heard of anybody talk about Giovanni. So when I smelled this, I was like, let me just buy it. Because I really, really like the price line that the TJ Maxx has for the skincare. Because they have Body Shop, they have like a lot of really good brands that is pretty reasonable. Or maybe they're just like out of stock or whatnot, I'm not too sure. But I figure like they have really good stuff. And then this one here is a foot repair therapeutic balm for my feet. My feet gets really dry because I work, I'm a hairstylist, so I don't really wear a lot of sneakers because I don't like having hair on my sneakers. So I wear a lot of like slippers and whatnot. So I think that's what causes I have like my my heels get really cracked and they get really nasty. So I just thought this was really good. And it smells like peppermint. It smells really, really good. So I'm putting this at night. Nighttime after I bathe with socks on, so it moisturizing. My favorite, the main thing I go to TJ Maxx to buy their skincare is because I used to work at the body shop years ago when I was in beauty school. That was like my job. I loved their stuff. It was so expensive, I could not afford it. Even though I had my discount, I still couldn't afford it. So when I saw that these bad boys were at TJ Maxx for like three dollars, six dollars, I was like, yo, like pretty legit so I got the travel size of Shea Sugar Body Scrub oh smells so good and then I also got it in the cocoa butter cream body scrub so this I can put in my shower this travel size they shop and I mainly wanted of course another moisturizing mist so this is the bamboo water sebum absor absorbing hydrating mist and I just wanted to go there to see if they have any new products because every time I go there they have like the same makeups and the same lashes and the same skincare wipes. So I figured, do you guys have like a hydrating mist? Because I'm obsessed with like makeup setting sprays or whatnot. This is not really a, really a setting spray they said. This is just more something just to hydrate your face, which I like, which you can put on before you put on your foundation. So moisturize, primer, spray, and foundation. So I learned something new about that. Also, I have a single blush. And this looks like a really, really nice contour or bronze to like warm up my skin. So I really thought this was really nice. And this one... It just says number two in the single blush. So this is the only darkest one in the blush. They have like different lighter tones. And I also got the mango seed lip scrub since I am hating that I have dry lips every time I um, try to take this off in the shower. So I use like a scrub. I used to get the one from Lush, but they're kind of expensive. So I kind of opted for this one. Drugstore items. So I got this really cute candle. I got this at Kmart. And right now, if you are familiar with... Kmart in Hawaii for my Honolulu subscribers in Kunia, right by Waikele area. They are closing down. A lot of their stuff are 20, 30, 40% off. I don't know exactly when they are closing, but I'm pretty sure the closer it gets to closing, it goes down to 50, 60, 75 higher. So right now they have a they have a lot of good stuff. So I got this really nice candle. This is like $5 candle and it's in relaxing seas. And this smells so good. I want to like burn this in my um, bathroom. So I'm really obsessed with candles. I have like so much. I have like a drawer, a whole bin full of candles because I'm like just obsessed with them. And this was like 30% off. So this is like two bucks. I was like, why not? Swartz Cough Ultimate Biotin Volume in the Shampoo Conditioner. I wanted to see what this was all about since it's a new line. They came out with the hair color, so when I saw that they came out with hair products, you know, like the the wash line, so I was like, I need to get them, so I got in the volume line. Beauty box, 
um, holder because I bought lashes from them. Let me just show you with what I got. I got the lashes. This one is Wildfire. Oh. And then this one here is in Storm. These are just their new line that they're coming out. These are the $5 ones. They're pretty reasonable. And then this one here is Halo. And then I have Halo 3D. I love my wispy lashes. They look really mink like, which I really like. So I'm really like liking their new line. Flutter Lashes Glue. And it was like $5. And I was like, I'm pretty sure they sell it more expensive online. So when I saw that it was $5 at a boutique, I just kind of just grabbed it because I'm obsessed. And I got it in the clear white. So Flutter Lashes Lash Glue. L'Oreal Voluminous Liner Noir in black is black and then of course i wanted to try their brow stylist definer i'm not too sure if i showed you guys in my last hauls i got this but i wanted to show you guys like i love the maybelline but i wanted to try out the l'oreal one and then i have the salon perfect brow scara treat and tint so i've never heard anyone talk about this this looks really interesting so i think you tint and you treat it so i thought this was really cool and then i have the rimmel color precise in the color white so thought this was cool and then i have the milani even touch powder foundation in natural tan number nine revlon got some lashes you guys and i got this one in doesn't say a style but these are really really pretty revlon lashes and i got the elf contour palette been wanting to get it so i was like just get it and then hard candies most famous product is their tiki highlighter it says baked bronzer but really it's a highlighter and it's intense so i just needed to pick up another one because my other one broke so i'm like just get another one the voluminous feline nor i'm like obsessed with the nor line like i got everything nor like i'm just obsessed so i wanted to see how that goes about and of course the maybelline the falsies push-up angel and they said that this is really good for your bottom lashes because look how thin the wand is and i wanted to try this out also um forever 21 lashes are pretty much stepping up their game this is for like when i go to work monday through friday like they're they're super cheap they're like two dollars so i just wanted to like oh, just I'll just buy it. Mix lingerie in the color corset. Let me just put that on the bottom so you guys can see what that looks like. It's a really nude, like, it's like, look at that. It's so pretty, but it matches, like, my lips. So it's kind of like a color that's way better. And then this one here, I have it in push-up effect, and it's there right there. So look at all these like i'm obsessed you see how obsessed i'm with nudes right now like it's ridiculous i don't know if you guys seen this, this is the limited edition wet and wild color iconic eyeshadow trio in velour vixen and look at these colors like you have a cream you have a maroon cranberry and then you have this really nice dark like it has like gold and maroon reflex so i thought this was so pretty and i was like i need to have it so i got it sinful shine step one kylie signature collection in the color commando king kylie so i thought this was a really nice nude color it does have specks of silver in there so i thought this was really really nice gotcha covered nyx concealer I've never really heard anyone talk about this. So when I saw this, I was like, hmm. So I just got it in the color beige. Yeah. Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in Gleam. I thought this was so pretty. This is really nice to put in the inner corner where it just kind of like highlights the inner corner. That concludes my haul. I am so sorry. I just hope this isn't too long, but I've been collecting all this stuff for like the past month, like legit. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please get a thumbs up, subscribe before you leave. And if you guys wanna see any more videos, please comment down on the bottom bar below. I do read your guys' comments and I try to do as much as I can with what you guys want me to do. So thanks again and I'll see you guys in my next videos, okay? Bye-bye.